Hi, this is Jason Chanko from Siglent Technologies, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at a really cool application called LXI Tools, and that is an open source Linux based uh, communication system. We can communicate with other instruments over LAN. Uh, I'm going to connect up the SSA 3000 and SDM 3065X and one of our XE oscilloscopes via LAN. Here we've got the connection to the XE scope, and we've got the uh, got the analyzer and we've got the SDM. Uh, my desk is definitely a mess, uh, very busy here. <laughs> so uh, hooked up to a network switch and now I'm loading Ubuntu on my Windows machine using a virtual uh, virtual terminal. And here is that that uh, that window for Linux. Uh, this is that Ubuntu. So we're just going to fire up a terminal and from the LX, I've already loaded the LXI tools. The really cool thing, LXI Discover is going to go out and look at all of the devices that are attached to the LAN. You can see all three of them have returned their IDNs or their identification strings. We can also do a screenshot, which is just LXI space screenshot and then the IP address for the instrument. And that's going to give us, uh, I'm just going to type in the address to the analyzer. And that's going to quickly give us a screenshot of the analyzer. And now it's been saved to the hard drive here. We're going to take a look at that and pull that up. So we can really quickly with this tool just do command line interface, quickly bang out a few uh, quick commands to see if we're actually connected to the instrument. And uh, also we can collect raw data here. We're actually going to take a look. Oh, this is going to be the, uh, the benchmark. So in this case, we're actually going to ping the device that we have the IP address here a number of times. I think for this test, it's 100. And then we're going to return a, a rate of response. And that's going to give us an idea. In this case, we have 460 requests per second to the X-E. -E, and that's very fast. That's how many times the instrument has responded to that. And that gives you an idea of how fast you can uh, communicate. This is the LXI Skippy. So we're actually able to send direct commands. We're going to send the read command to the digital multimeter. And it's instantly going to bring back that, that voltage measurement. So we can actually do remote measurements from a distance from the command line. Most useful tool here, though, is going to be the, the GUI, uh, the LXI-GUI. That's going to start up the actual interface. It's going to have a lot of the same features of the command line that we were just showing, but it's actually going to be quite a bit easier to use. Uh, here we have the GUI itself, uh, and you can see we've got uh, some interface information. We've got a command line for the Skippy. Uh, we did the Discover as we did earlier, and now we have all of the instruments, and we'll simply click on the instrument we want to control. And then we'll go down to the Skippy command line. We'll type in read as we did previously for the multimeter. We'll finish it with a question mark. And now we'll get that same reading here in the, uh, in the Skippy window. Alternately, we also have available the screenshot tool. That screenshot tool is, uh, again, we're just going to pick the instrument we want to communicate with. Uh, hit the take screenshot button. And we'll quickly get a view of whatever was on the display of that particular instrument. There's also a live view that's going to actively update as quickly as the instrument can keep up. And that's going to give us more of a live view of what's happening in real time with the instrument. Again, really powerful stuff. Here we're going to do the benchmark. Uh, click on the benchmark tab in the instrument. We're going to do 1,000 cycles. And here we'll get 281 requests per second. So we can get an idea, again, of how fast we can communicate. Uh, here with the SDM, we're going to do the data recorder. I'm going to type in read, and this is going to be repeated 10 times per second and automatically collect the data. So that once we've collected that CSV data, we can actually stop this and save that off as a CSV file, and it timestamps the data, each data set for you. Again, really flexible, nice, uh, nice way to come about it. You can go to settings and do, set your timeouts. Uh, here's a little bit more information about the uh, about the tool. This is all available again LXI tools. It's available on GitHub, and here's a link to that GitHub site. And please stop by, give it a shot. Uh, it's a very very cool tool. Uh, it's open source, so it's a community of people working together to make things better. It works with a lot of Siglent products, uh, and I'm I'm starting to adopt it myself. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, please contact your nearest Siglent office. I do appreciate you watching this video today. Thanks and have a great day.